Hey guys, Ryan here. And in this video, I'm going to be covering how to install and use the EA app on Linux using Lutris, a universal launcher that supports many game launcher services. So chances are if you've ever played any EA published games, then you've had to contend with EA Origin. However, in 2022, this was effectively replaced by the EA app. And the good news is that much like Origin before it, it does work well enough on Linux and it allows you to install and launch your games with little effort. This particular video is going to cover the standalone installation of the EA app on Linux and not when you have it prompting you when you've launched a game that you've purchased through Steam. Okay, so the first step in the process is to install Wine. Now Wine is your compatibility layer and it's what we're going to be using to install and launch the EA app. And since Lutris ultimately requires this as a dependency, then it does make sense to install this first. Now the installation of Wine will differ slightly depending on what distribution you choose to use but in most cases, you'll end up installing Wine using your package manager. Now, of course, technically, Lucius does use its own Wine builds, but it's still recommended, however, to install of the Wine dependencies just to ensure that you've got a working installation. So on the Wine dependency page on the Lucius wiki, you want to effectively scroll down and find your distribution's family, and then follow the instructions applicable to your installation. Now, in my case, since I use Endeavor OS, which is a Arch-based distribution, then I need to look at the Arch Linux section. But once you've installed Wine on your system, we can then move on to installing Lutris. So the second step in the process is to install Lutris. I mentioned earlier that Lutris is a universal platform and you can use it to launch many of these game services and the EA app is included in this. As a download Lutris, you want to go to their main page, lutris.net, click on the download link at the top, and then scroll down and use the installation instructions that are relevant to your distribution. Again, what you'll probably find is like Wine, it's likely going to be using your distribution's package manager to install Lutris. And once again, once you've installed this, then you want to launch Lutris using your application launcher. So to install the EA app using Lutris, you want to click on the plus button at the top left. Choose your option here where it says search the Lutris website for installers, and then type in the word EA app. Now you will need to scroll down to find it, but you're looking for the option that says EA app 2022 Windows. So click on that. Now you should be presented by two options. You have the beta or the standard. In this particular case, you want to choose the standard option by clicking the install button. But from here, you can specify installation location, review the files that need to be downloaded to be installed. And then when you're happy, click the continue to start the installation process. Now, if you do get asked to install any dependencies, then you want to click yes to that particular prompt. So eventually you'll be presented with the installation wizard for the EA app. So you want to choose the option, let's go. And shortly after, you'll also be greeted by a blue screen. This is actually technically the login screen, but it's fine. We can close it for the time being, and you'll find the installation will still continue anyway. So let's close this down at the bottom. And there you go. As you can see, installation has completed. We'll click close on that. So the first step in the process is to actually launch the EA app. Now, if we installed it, we can double click on the entry here in Lutris to launch the application. OK, so at this point, sign in with your credentials. So once you've signed in, as you can see, the process is identical to Windows. You can browse through all the available games to purchase, or even install ones that you've already got uh, populated in your library. And much like Windows, once you've downloaded the game and installed it, double click to launch it as normal. Now, one final thing to note, what I tend to do is disable the in-game overlay, as I found that that can prevent older games from launching, which is something that actually happens on Windows as well, so I can't really blame Wine, Wine for this. So to do that, click on the hamburger icon at the top, go to settings, go to application, and then just untick it where it says in-game overlay. Click turn off, and there you go, all done. So in conclusion, when it comes to playing games found outside of the Steam ecosystem on Linux, it can sometimes be a pain to get them working, especially due to the sheer number of third-party launchers out there. However, tools like Lutris make installing and managing your separate game libraries a breeze. Thanks for watching guys, and if you did find this video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.